Welcome everyone, I'd like to show you how to easily screen record on your iPhone 7 Plus. So, the process has been made insanely easy, you just need to be on iOS 11 or newer. We can check what firmware we're on, so if we go to settings, then we'll just go to general, about, and you can see I'm running iOS 14.6 on my iPhone 7 Plus, iOS 11, 12, 13 and 14 are supported for this tutorial. If you're on iOS 10, either you have to update, or if you don't want to update your iPhone 7 Plus, uh, well, you, you can't screen record basically. So, if you are on a supported uh, firmware, first things first, you just want to open up the settings application. And then we want to find Control Center. I'll tap on this. And then we're going to scroll down until we see screen recording. We're going to tap on the plus, and now screen recording is enabled on our iPhone uh, 7 Plus. So, to actually start a recording, we just swipe up from the bottom to enable control center. And you see this icon, this is a brand new icon. We're just going to long press on this. And then we see screen recording and microphone. Currently it's set to off. So if you turn the microphone, it's going to capture um, your voice. So let's say you want to do a, a commentary video, you turn on the microphone. If you want to turn it off, only the internal audio of your iPhone will be captured. This means if you're playing games, that will be captured. So. What we're going to do is one tip, if you want to capture the internal game audio, the sound has to be on. So if you're recording and the sound's muted, uh, no game audio will be captured at all. So just make sure uh, sound is on and then the silent mode is off. So let's say it's currently on, we just turn off silent mode. Then we long press right here. And then once we're uh, good to go, we just tap on start recording. There's a time now and then um yeah the recording has started so every single action you do on your home screen will be captured opening up applications will also be captured and one thing you need to know is the screen recorder will record in the orientation you start the recording so if you want to record a game like this make sure you start in landscape mode then open up the um uh you know the game or whatever uh just make sure the recording starts in that mode that you want to uh, be in or you can always just go into the editor i uh, use like iMovie i use luma fusion but that costs money so iMovie just go into that thing and just rotate the video or you could just use the photo application to uh, rotate the video so just make sure you know you capture the gameplay and once you're done just tap on the red bar and then stop sometimes the red bar glitches out and it doesn't show up if that's the case you can stop the recording by tapping the red button right here when the recording is currently active uh, you'll see the red bar flashing and you can just stop it we can long press and then where start recording is if you're currently re uh, recording you can just tap on stop recording so let's have a look at our recording so got albums and here we go and you can see um, well, my phone screen is being captured and everything I do has also been captured. So if you want to rotate the recording, just tap on the edit. And this is only on iOS 14, I believe. Maybe you can do it on iOS 13. We tap on this rotation button. And then you see right here the rotate button. And you can change a portrait to landscape or landscape to portrait. Make sure you tap this until you're happy with the orientation. So we'll go for this orientation right here. Done. And if we go through... You can see when I go to landscape, now uh, the recording is natively in that, uh, landscape mode. You can see just like that. And if you want to cut the recording, just go edit and you can just swipe here and that will cut the recording. So you can also use iMovie and some other applications to make sure uh, your editing is a bit more uh, better. But if you just want the basic things, the camera app has uh, sorted for you. Do keep in mind, old iOS firmwares will not have those features. So really, that's all there is to it. Um, keep in mind, storage as well is an important factor. Make sure you have at least five gig if you want to record. If you have lower than five gig, do not record for too long or the recording will corrupt. Also, never lock your phone because if you lock your phone, the recording will also corrupt and you won't be able to recover it. And I've had experience with that. You know, I recorded an hour gameplay of the notification which says the recording is finished will take quite a while with an hour gameplay. And if you lock your phone at any time, the recording instantly corrupts. It's a big flaw with the screen recorder by Apple. Uh, I'm not sure if they fixed it or not because I don't really use a screen recorder anymore. Hopefully they have. So really that's all there is to it. See you guys later. Bye bye.